Bureau of Justice in Dallas County, John Cruzeau is about to begin his new role as district attorney. He takes office January 1st. News 8's Rebecca Lopez spoke to him today about his mission. I see you're packing already, too. Trent, well, the boxes are here. John Cruzeau is busy this week packing up his office. It's almost moving day for the newly elected district attorney. He'll go from a high rise near downtown Dallas to the 11th floor of the Frank Crowley Courthouse. I'll have a different view. <laughs> Cruzeau calls himself a reformer. He promised in his campaign to change the philosophy from being tough on crime to being smart on crime. Prosecution doesn't necessarily mean that a person has to have a criminal record. He says he wants to decriminalize some lesser crimes that bog down the courts and jails and hold people down. For example, he will not prosecute people caught with small amounts of marijuana if it's their first offense. What we've done in the past is we've prosecuted them and given them criminal records. And as such, it is, has impacted them for the rest of their lives. As a former judge, he has championed diversion courts in Dallas County that aim at helping people instead of incarcerating them. But we're going to develop a system for subsequent uh, arrest where we put them, if they need it, in treatment and try to once again handle it as a public health problem as opposed to a criminal justice problem. He says his philosophy doesn't mean he's soft on crime, promising to prosecute violent felons to the fullest and hold police officers who break the law accountable. And that brings us to the case of Amber Geiger. The former Dallas officer shot Botham Jean in his own apartment, claiming she thought she was in her apartment. She is charged with murder. Rousseau says he will keep the prosecutors working the case in place. They've done a tremendous amount of work and investigation, and I don't, at this point, I don't see any reason to change anybody on it. John Cruzeau was born in New Orleans, but his family moved to Houston, starting a chain of restaurants called Frenchies. His 91-year-old mother still works there. He says it is that hardworking spirit instilled in him as a child that motivates him to want to give 100% to the citizens of Dallas County. Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News. A trusted pastor behind bars tonight accused.